be involved in two of the world's most high-profile cases within a three-month period. It was full on. High-profile cases do bring their own pressure because the world is watching, not necessarily understanding. If someone had said to me 10 years ago when this case started that I would be giving evidence in the Old Bailey about an offer from President Donald Trump, I just wouldn't have believed them. Anyone who thinks she's got where she is through luck doesn't understand the situation. She works, I would say, 16 hours a day, every day, and sometimes more. She is prepared to do whatever it takes to make things happen. That was the political deal that was offered. People think it's easy to flounce around in wigs and gowns and uh, talk from the top of your head, but you never do that. You have to prepare. Until we are all free, none of us are. She works incredibly hard for her clients, and she's so courageous and so fiercely loyal towards them. But she also understands that you have to occasionally swing off a chandelier with a cocktail between your teeth. I was once described in the media in Australia as the sassy Assange lawyer. And I thought, I say the same things as Jeff. Why am I sassy, but it's fine for Jeff to say it? Yeah. I've been in a room where people presume I'm the secretary rather than the lawyer. It really used to upset me. Um, but now I quite enjoy it. <laughs> she doesn't pick easy cases. That's not her. If she's passionate about a cause, she will go after it with everything she's got. Wow, she's a brave woman I haven't seen in, in the entire planet. Thank you.